Hi folks, and welcome back to the channel. A couple of months ago when I was out boating, I had an issue with the tilt trim system on this Yamaha outboard. So today I thought I'd put together a quick diagnostic video on how to diagnose the issue with your tilt trim system and to hopefully repair that to yourself. So diagnosing your tilt trim system is pretty much a five step process. To start with, you wanna check that you've got a good battery and that it's fully charged. Next, you wanna check all your switches are operational with your tilt trim system. Third, you want to check the relays that operate the motor for the tilt trim system. Then you want to check the motor itself. And finally, you want to check that there's enough fluid in the reservoir to actually operate the tilt trim system correctly. So folks, if you find that your Yamaha outboard is actually stuck in the upright position whilst you're out, what you can do is you can see down here this picture with the motor there. Inside there, you can put a flat screwdriver and it's a bit like releasing a trolley jack that you work on your car. You put the flat screwdriver in your turn, it'll then release the pressure and allow the motor to come down. So at least you can get back to the shore. So having checked the battery is in good condition, the next thing you want to do is to pop the cover off the engine and get into some diagnosis. So having removed the engine cover, the next thing you want to do is to remove this plastic cover here, which will expose the relays and the electrics for the tilt trim system. All right, so with that cover off, we've got the relays in here for the tilt trim motor. And around this side, we've got the up down button that's actually on the engine. If we just have a look on the inside, you can see we've got that switch there. We've got the connection here and that comes around and threads up in under the relay. So first thing to do is actually check the switch. Now to test the switch, I'd suggest getting a good quality test light. What we want to do is we want to grab a good earth point. This one down here is a great earth point on this motor here. And then what we can do is we can put that test light in on the red wire. That'll be power. See that it lights up. And then we've got the blue and the green. Now blue is up and uh, green is down. So we can trigger the switch with our test light in there, up and down, and we can see then if the uh, switch is working. Now, if the switch is not working, it's simply a matter of replacing the switch. So I've got those couple of bolts there to take out and you simply disconnect it by rotating it over. You can press on that toggle there and disconnect the switch like that. So we'll hook our switch back up. So having confirmed the switch is good, the next thing we want to do is to check out the relay. This is the tilt trim relay that we exposed when we took that cover off before. We've got a ground, we've got a power, we've got a up, feed down to the tilt trim motor which is the blue wire and then we've got a green wire which is the down feed so first of all we can check once again with our test light that we've got, actually got power coming to the relay as you can see we've got power there now if you've got an issue with either up or down the simplest thing to do is actually to remove the blue wire by taking that nut off there if it's up placing it onto the red and that'll bypass the relay and the motor should go up or alternatively you've got an issue going down you can take the nut off here pop it onto the red and the motor should go down if you're able to activate the engine going up and down by bypassing the re relay you know it's definitely a relay and therefore you can replace the relay without doing any further diagnosis okay so by this stage you've checked your switches working you've checked your relays working now you're going to move on to the motor of the tilt trim system so if you're clicking the switch and you can hear the relay clicking but there's nothing happening from the motor what you can do is you can press the switch hold it down and you can give that motor a few taps however if you can actually hear that motor running going up and down the next thing to check is the fluid level actually in the reservoir so to check the fluid level you're going to want to take that nut off of the reservoir you're going to check the level what you're going to want to do is to top it up with the proper Yamaha Lube performance power trim and tilt fluid and the easiest way to get that in is with a external bottle because otherwise you're trying to pour it in with a funnel but i've made a whole another video on how to fill the tilt trim on a yamaha outboard so i'll link that in the description so there you go folks there's five things that you can easily check yourself if your yamaha outboard tilt trim system is not working the battery the switch the relay the motor and then finally the fluid level so 
If you're interested in seeing future videos on boating or any other general car or house DIY, do feel free to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, have a good evening.